guys we actually took the battery off and we want to make the next battery the 72 volt attach the same exact way the factory one does it just basically has these two mounting points and it just uses a screw up front right here that screws up into here so in order to do that we have the mounting point for the front right here that's going to go on the new box we're basically going to cut this out right here this is going to weld up to here and we're just going to make basically a whole separate box where our new battery will slide into it i'll actually be able to make it on some hinges as well so i could open up this custom box that i'm making so i just got that one tack welded these are all tack welded so here we got the rough shape exact copy of the back side of the original battery and let's see if it fits we basically copied that bracket bent out the same piece the middle one and the front we got a pretty thick half inch right there we got a little bit of progress we got this whole plate mounted in here so there we go guys we got it about 75 percent complete still got to sand everything down primer it and give it a probably some bed liner coating but i did go ahead and make it on a hinge i'm gonna add some kind of latch right here not sure yet what kind but welded in some hinges basically copied the exact original mounts and the eyelet right there where the bolt goes through so i could actually remove it on and off if i want to but there we go opened up closes the battery box is finished this is for the em23 we got the factory mounting styles right here with the bolt up front and the two right here inside foam padded ready for the new battery 72 volt 32 amp hour now i totally forgot to cut out a hole on top for the wires so we used our nice plasma cutter cut out a hole and i'm just going to finish it off with some uh, rubber edge molding that has built-in 3m tape i'm going to run this around here done deal got the nice hole nice rubber grommet installed ready to put the battery in so all we do is just flip this thing over open it up inside and slide the new one in i would say this thing is a perfect fit it's a snug fit everywhere we got the rubber edging all around to make sure we don't cut through anything but guys i built this box just perfectly just using the dimensions they had we go ahead and close this up and bolt it in from the other side there we go we got the battery installed we have the new wire cable this is the old one you can see the new one is much thicker I'm going to the controller and we have our new basically charger input right here wire this will be for our charging we went ahead to set it to 190 amps and i'm excited to try it out see what kind of power we have right now we're showing 80 volts we changed our far driver we had to go ahead and run the uh, auto learn function again set the low protection voltage down to 60 volts over protect at 90 volts so that should uh basically save the battery just in case anything happens but let's go ahead and try it out we uh put on a better chain in the back the old one just got way too stretched out so all right guys we got the battery on from momentum watts we got the 72 volt 32 amp hour in here and i didn't get a chance to fully charge it so if we start it up, we got 80.9 volts. So that's about a little bit over 80%, 82, 83%. 84 volts would be full 100%. And 60 volts would be pretty much 0%. So hopefully we are losing a little bit of power being at 80 volts, but still should be a pretty good test because we are cranked up to 190 amps. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and test it out. Oh my god! This thing just freaking wants to go up in the air! Oh! Woo! Guys, this thing is insane! That is a crazy, crazy amount of torque! Man! Guys, what a difference! I mean... This is... Guys, what did I just build? This thing is a 
monster. I don't like the way the motor sounds a little bit at higher RPMs. right behind us oh man that ain't good we're just gonna take it easy try to follow all the laws we got a city cop right behind us They usually don't care. Oh, just on this tiny little stretch of road, we just hit 54, just like that, and it just keeps going and going. Guys, this thing is insane. Just with the far driver, 190 amps, we could actually go a little bit more. We're maxed out on the controller. That's where I kind of wish I bought the better controller, but we're maxed out at 190 amp on the controller. But we, this battery could do 200 continuous and 250 uh peak burst so we could actually push out even more out of this battery but guys just what it is right now we got an 80 percent exactly 80 percent battery left this thing is just a monster guys it, it always at 30 miles per hour it still wanted a wheelie so keeping the nose down is really hard type of bike you want to be going 60 miles an hour on you know but guys i'd say it at least has 65 in it easy Woo! oh just want to go ahead and feel feel this motor see how it's doing it's definitely pretty hot but guys these motors could get really hot i've heard i've heard stories where this motor could get so hot that you you can't even touch it but this is like it's not bad of course i want to make some kind of covers over here cover it up a little bit because we got the battery info right here it's got the ant bms which is good it's basically exactly identical to a, uh, a morgue battery. So if you're going to get those guys who get the morgue batteries from Alibaba, it's the same thing. It's got max charge current, 15 amps. That's going to be perfect when we install the regen on this bike. So that is definitely in the, in the works. I'm going to go ahead and get a regen button. So we could actually, when we're going downhill, we could put some power back into the battery. So it could basically recharge the battery. And we could do up to 15 amps. So that's going to be some pretty good regen that we could pull from this motor and we're going to save our brake pads as well uh what else do we got over here uh max continuous discharge is actually 220 guys wow i actually thought it was 200 amps it's actually 220 and we're only doing 190 that is actually really good max continuous discharge wow that guys that is that is amazing actually if we go ahead and upgrade the controller but i don't see the need i mean if we upgrade the tr controller and that we could push like 17 kilowatts basically and over 22 kilowatts peak that is a ton of power for this little motor so we're gonna go ahead and get a qs 138 i'm gonna go ahead and find a deal i found some for three four hundred bucks you could get that bigger motor and it actually will bolt up to this bike so guys hopefully you guys like comment and uh stay tuned for the next one